the secret ruse was that this whole thing, uh, this whole thing has just been a setup, a gigantic, unbelievable ruse to talk about the fact that all of you people have terrible taste in music and so does everyone else, okay? And some people have worse taste in music than others, it's true. But guess what? It barely matters, okay? And here's the secret. The secret truth is that all of you have at some point listened to the most insufferable, embarrassing music you can possibly imagine. And if you don't believe me, let me just show you something, okay? All right, let me show you something, okay? There's two points I need to make, okay? But first, I have to show you something, all right? And the first one is very simple. This is a, just keep in mind, this is a, a, a I searched this just off the top of my head. Okay? So what this is, is Nightcore Electro Swing, okay? Now, I know that some people here are gonna be all up in arms about Electro Swing, but you shouldn't really spend much time being mad about Electro Swing, swing when Nightcore Electro Spring, Swing, sorry, is a thriving genre. Let me tell you, there are a lot of Nightcore Electro Swing videos out there, and there's a lot, there's a suspiciously large amount of people listening to them. So who could it be? I think, what I think, is that I think that the world is full of elitists. So what prompted all of this, you might be asking. You might be asking, oh, oh mama, what's got you singing all these songs and mocking everybody's musical tastes? Well, it's quite simple. Uh, a popular streamer that we all know around these parts by the name of Vouch tweeted, I like Imagine Dragons. And of course, as you can imagine, there was a lot of negative reactions here. You know, death, uh, I officially need to stop defending Vosh. You know, this checks out. Now, we know a lot of people are goofing about this, okay? We know a lot of people have been goofing about liking Imagine Dragons. And I, th I suspect personally that Vosh knew he was gonna get a lot of shit. However, some time ago, this same content creator also said that they liked Electro Swing. And what, what happened was there was so much actual elitism that it couldn't I couldn't help but defend Electro Swing just a little bit. And I do, just for the record, I do think that Imagine Dragons are is like one of the worst pop bands that I've ever had to listen to. And I do also have, you know, very limited patience for a lot of Electro Swing. But guess what? I also think that 99% of what everyone else listens to is also trash, okay? Because guess what? People listen to a lot of trash. As it turns out, people listen to an incredible fucking amount of music. And the fact that so many people, not just knew, but actually liked all of the goofy songs that I was singing uh, in the beginning, just goes to show that for a fact, our, the audience here that would judge this man for his musical tastes that would treat him so horribly for him liking one of the most embarrassing bands in the history of the world are themselves very embarrassing. And don't get me wrong, I just want to be sure that everyone understands Imagine Dragons is an embarrassing band. Um, they have a song, their worst rated song, interestingly, is a song by the name of Thunder, which some of you who came in a little earlier would have heard me singing. It goes something like this. This is the rendition. Are you ready? Are you ready? Thunder, I am thunder in the thunder, and it claps like thunder, thunder, and it does that for three minutes and 50 seconds. Thunder, you are thunder, a clap of thunder, everybody thunder, thunder, and there's thunder, and I'm, oh my god, it is so bad. So, I, I, there's no love lost between me and Imagine Dragons, but I want to make sure that I remind the chatters out there, the, the music elitists who think that they can show up in other people's mentions and roast people for their music tastes. I bet you like some other garbage. I bet you like fucking Mumford and Sons or, or, or fucking, I don't even know. Let the, let, let they who is without musical sin cast the first strum, okay? 
Disturbed, Creed, Kings of Leon, Katy Perry, uh, fuck, how many do I, oh, the Black Eyed Peas, Mumford and Sons. Hey, oh, don't even get me started on K-pop. Literally manufactured. How many more? Did I repeat one? I probably did repeat one. Thunder is an amazing song. Well, okay, if you say so. Sure, Trippy Red even. Go ahead, hate on Trippy Red. Go ahead. I like Trippy personally. You hate all that shit? I'm throwing this drum? Not happening. Not happening. Coldplay. Yes, that's right, you sinners. Train. I bet, I bet a ton of you in middle school and high school listen to train songs on repeat. And let me tell you, there is no excuse. If you liked a train song, you liked garbage. Train songs are the worst. And Coldplay is embarrassing. Oh, Windleby in here probably listens to like a uh, Windleby sitting over here uh, being like, oh yeah, I don't, I don't have any shit taste, but you probably listen to like hang drum, hang drum number five by some fucking weird hippie sitting on a hill going boom, 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 boom. Don't give me that shit. Everybody likes shit music, okay? And you know what? It is okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay to like garbage. My Chemical Romance! Oh, wait. You want to know who else? You want to know some other people who are out there? Fucking, what about people who liked John Mayer? What about people who liked, um, what about people who liked, even worse, Jason Mraz? Jason Mraz. I bet there were some of you Jason Mraz people out there, too. The little ukulele asshole. John Mayer is a good guitarist, but let's, come on, let's be real here. Coldplay, of course, all these bands have good songs, okay? What if you were 12 and you like to play ukulele? Listen, I'm not judging you, okay? I'm counter judging. I'm showing everyone why you shouldn't judge because I know your cringe asses listen to some weird cringe ass shit. I know it. That's just how music is. It's just how it is. It's just how it goes. And you want to know what? It's radioactive, radioactive. You shouldn't judge it. You shouldn't judge musical taste because yours are just as bad. Look at that. Wrapped it right around. Bam. Cut it. Bam. That's the segment. Whoop. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, man, I love, what's new Scooby-Doo? He's coming back for you. It's all that mystery. His name is Scooby-Doo. What's new Scooby-Doo? Da-da-da-da-da. Na-da-da-da-da. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. Um, Here's the, here's the big reveal. The big reveal is that I hate Imagine Dragons, but most of the other bands that were mentioned in this segment and the part before are bands that I like. I like Evanescence. Oh, I like Green Day. Oh, I love Jason, I, 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 not Jason Mraz, I actually hate Jason Mraz. I, I love uh, uh, John Mayer, loved John Mayer. Oh, I couldn't get enough John Mayer back in the day. So, you know, oh, I like The Killers. I didn't know that. That's cool. Wait, that's really cool. I didn't know that, Socialist Potato. Oh, Rise Against? Love Rise, and get, rise Against. Okay, I, I don't really like Train, but I did like Train at one point, kind of. Are you human? Or are we dancing? I love the killers. Oh, Fleetwood Mac. Woo! I bet you like Five Finger Death Punch. I liked one or two songs by Five Finger Death Punch. You've seen the Killers in concert? The, the, ba the person I've seen most in concert is uh, Ben Folds. Ben Folds. Honestly, Five Finger Death Punch was not my favorite band, but there was a couple. There were a couple that I liked. I really liked... Um, in high school, there was a whole, oh, I, I went through a lot of things. I really liked Mayer. I really liked Ben Folds. Uh, both, actually, Windleby. 
Yeah, I saw Pomplamoose and it was a bad experience, but that's okay. It happens sometimes. How do you feel about Glory Hammer? Wait, isn't that the one? Isn't that the band that that did the song? Um, where they're like, fight to the goblins on the mountain, rise with the hammer of glory, rise. Fight the dragons in heaven. I don't like them. They they make me mad. It's okay though. Are you open to receiving music suggestions for when you feel like discovering new things? Sure. Uh, although I can't always promise I'll get to them. What's your opinion on ghosts? They can be fun. I've had some fun with Slayer. Yeah, Slayer can be fun. Um, I'm trying to remember what, what like, I mean, I have, I, it's interesting. So it's funny, I'm, I'm like the least musical elitist person you'll ever meet because, uh, I don't know, I grew up on like Christian hymns and shit. So like, I really have zero, like, like 0% 0 musical elitism, um, except for when it comes to like, if you like like 9-11 tributes and at that point then you can kind of like, you know, just disappear, just please stop. Um, but uh, I actually have mute, I have, I have uh, playlists dating back to like 10 years ago that I made. Let's see. I have one, two, th just right here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years of music that I've liked. I'm pretty good about documenting the music that I like. So I have a very, a, a pretty varied music taste. And uh, one of the things, guys, ready? Are you guys ready for the cringest thing of all? You wanna know something that I like? Acapella. I fucking love acapella. And tons of people fucking hate that shit, but I love acapella. Love it. Fucking love it. I can't get enough of it. There you go. There you go. That's my opinions on the music discourse.